Ciao, ciao. Hi, Reza. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. Thank you for taking the time. Pleasure to be on board. London Fashion Week has just ended. Some designers opted out. A um, few physical shows were on and some other designers were offering private appointments. How was it for you, Rhys? Did you attend any of these events or did you follow them digitally? Digitally. Sadly, I uh, wasn't able to follow them physically. I mean, I think it's a tough time and everyone needs to um, kind of do what's right for, for, for themselves and also for the business. So um, we're, we're kind of, we're not fully back into the office yet as a business. We're kind of taking our time and working from home. Um, and just assessing the kind of landscape of what's going on right now. Despite those obstacles though, emerging designers, all of the designers, but you know, I always focus on emerging designers, have really had to look at creative ways to excite crucial clients like yourself. So during London Fashion Week, what did excite you? From, a, from an emerging perspective, um, I definitely think that Priya Farsnay's presentation was definitely one that kind of caught the eye. Um, I mean, kind of taking taking the fashion show into the into the countryside is, uh, I mean, amazing. Really, kind of you can see it on a on a bigger scale, and it's more difficult to kind of make you feel part of the experience if you're if you've got a screen there. You know, it's an opportunity for a designer or a brand to show you and take you into their kind of into their world. It's important to note the collection there as well, rather than just the experience. I think it's developing every season. Um, you can see the way that it's progressing and it's a great one. A new designer, Maximiliano Davis, which I think, you know, from his lookbook was great, but I think the collection was super strong. Um, you know, the, uh, the visuals that he provided in terms of the presentation was great as well. Uh, Nancy, you know, she, she seems to go from strength to strength, so super strong there, I think, as well. She's great. And I think we have to mention Goom as well. Very, very kind of eye-catching and very unique, I would say. She's got kind of definitely a signature look, which is super important for emerging talent. What was the hottest look that you've seen? I think there was a couple of looks in Maximiliano's collection that were kind of quite special. Um, kind of the way that some of the dresses were cut were in, incredible. Um, and, and some of the detailing in terms of like the, the cutout elements definitely provided hot and sexiness for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. From, uh, from, from a personal note, there was a couple of pieces in Perea that I loved. Um, some of the multi-panel kind of like um, anoraks were amazing. So, and the pants were great. So, And Rhys, was there any particular trend that you've seen recurring over the presentations that you saw? Not necessarily new, I wouldn't say. Uh, maybe an evolution of kind of what we've seen in the past few seasons are definitely... Um, things are becoming a little bit more cleaner, a little bit more refined, um, definitely a little more smarter. Um, I wouldn't say that the kind of tailoring is going to take over a, a, in, in kind of a commercial sense, but definitely yeah. from, from a direction perspective, you can see that um, I think what, what it's kind of evolving into is definitely more of a smart flavour, I would say. Um, less, less of the casual product and the casual look. Or, or there wouldn't be less of the casual product, there'll be this more of a casual direction that, that it's changing. All that product will still be available in the showroom, which is, which is great for, for commercial perspective, but you know, we need that direction. That's what kind of drives the trends and I think it's important to, to note that things are cleaning up and smartening up, which is nice. In Europe, it was surely a hotter summer um, than previous years, wildfires in California, hurricanes in the Caribbean, and those are all um, are growing evidence of climate change. Um, designing spring 2021 while in lockdown has meant the process was perhaps more streamlined and less wasteful for many designers. Um, were you able to notice this during London Fashion Week? From my perspective, like less is more, for sure. Um, if you can get across what you need to in, in 10 looks, then why create 20? Um, I think that's the important thing. You know, the big guys, Burberry, I mean, huge show. Um, you know, very, very kind of big presentation. Um, I think it was really well done. Um, you know, doing it on Twitch was interesting. Uh, different camera angles, different perspective. But again, very big and lots of lots of looks. And I think that will still happen from the big brands. I think it's important that you have to play to your strengths. And I think what Burberry have done is they've offered lots of eco um, alternatives to products. I think it's definitely easier for emerging designers and or brands that are growing, maybe not to the not the size of the big guys. It's easier for them to kind of show that they're uh, being more mindful of that as opposed to um, the bigger guys because it's more challenging. You know, they've got more of a commercial business to look at. They've got so many different clients to cater for. Um, it's a different type of way of looking at it, but okay. it is so important. Um, LNCC definitely um, 
It's been on the radar for a long time. I mean, uh, the conscious department was brought into the business uh, spring, summer 15. So um, we are moving in the right direction, but everyone's still got more to do. Um, a lot of our projects at the moment are kind of focused on on that. Each of the initiatives, I mean, we had a focus on, on you know, not producing more product, but either reusing or, or, or reworking or recycling existing product in, in, that, that these brands had to create something unique for us. Thank you so much, Reese. That was wonderful. Cool. No worries, mate. Easy. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot.